Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. So I can see I've got a lot of loot. Hey, I'm already halfway to my Archer Queen. Whoo! Yes, that's what I'm freaking talking about. Crushing it. But today, guys, what I'm going to be showing y'all, I mentioned this in my last video, I do believe, is a new base design. <laughs> Alright, so normally in the past, you guys will know if you've ever watched my base build videos, I go in here and I go edit layout, I erase everything, and then I bring it in. Alright, but we're not going to do that today because that just takes up a lot of time and I think that it's kind of annoying for you guys uh, as we, as I, uh, as I build it and, and all that kind of stuff live. So if you do want to try out this base, go ahead and screenshot it. Just do that real quick. Screenshot the base, um, and we'll go ahead and talk about it a little bit. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and review it like it is, like it's built, and all that kind of stuff. So first and foremost, my most important thing about a base design for me <clears throat> is the wizard towers because splash damage is so good. Splash damage is just, it's just freaking awesome how good. I love splash damage so much. <laughs> um, so my wizard towers, you want them to protect what you want to save the most. So I've got all three of them around, um, I've got all three of them around my loot. You can see that all three of them touch practically every single loot storage that there is. Um, so that's the biggest thing right there for me is what my wizard towers are touching and the fact that they're protecting stuff, all right? Um, also, I have my loot in one, two, three, four different compartments. So if someone attacks, they're not gonna get it all. You always wanna make sure that you spread it out enough so that if someone attacks from one side, they'll get one thing, uh, they won't really get everything. So, uh, my last base did a really good job of protecting my Dark Elixir because I didn't need gold. I, I was throwing my gold out. You guys saw a bunch of the stroll bases. I didn't need my gold. I didn't need it. Um, so I threw it outside the walls, but now I need everything because I'm going to hit Town Hall 9 and I want to make sure that I have as much loot as possible to upgrade all of my stuff. You hear me? So, um, the biggest thing here is going to, is protecting as much as I can. Um, so we've got two hours and 19 seconds left, <laughs> two hours and 19 seconds, two hours and 19 minutes left on our shield, but whatever. So next, more splash damage. We've got our mortars. Mortars are beasts. You want them to cover your entire base. So we can go ahead and click on these. I always click on walls. So you can see that entire right side is covered. We click up here. The entire top portion of the base is covered. Uh, we click over here. All of that is covered. And then down here, finally, all of this is covered. So the entire base is covered by the mortars, guys, which is awesome. Look at that, they got rid of that red ring. That's interesting. They used to have a red ring around it. I don't even remember when they did that. I was probably in one of the patch notes, I just didn't read it. Um, so we've got that going on. Next, guys, one thing that I like about the air sweeper is its size. It's the size of a Tesla and a builder site. It's small, so it can fit uh, in an area where you would normally have a Tesla. So I've got uh, my air defenses on the bottom portion of the base right down here protecting, um, <clears throat> and the ones in the middle actually do cover the loot. They go all the way up to that air sweeper, so that's perfect um, that they cover the entire uh, bottom portion of this base. Next, we have one Tesla and an Archer Tower up here at the top, which are air defenses as well. They can shoot air troops. And then we've got our air sweeper right here. Um, oh, you can't. Yeah, okay, you can't see the range. And that's protecting this whole top portion of the base. So we've got good air coverage all around the base. Super, super excited about that. I think that's going to work pretty well for us. Um, next, we've got our cannons and our archer towers uh, spread out evenly around the base. That's another big thing. So you always want to, as much as possible, go archer cannon, archer cannon, archer cannon, uh, and things of that sort. So um, one thing, guys, if you all want me to start doing base reviews again, let me know down in the comments below, all right? Just... Freaking comment and say yes or no, uh, whatever it may be. Maybe I'll comment and say base reviews, and you guys can comment on that. I used to do base review videos. They did pretty well, uh, and a lot of people liked them, but I just haven't done them in a while. So we might start doing that again uh, if you guys want that. Uh, if you do want it, slap a like on the video as well, and we'll, uh, we'll calculate all that kind of stuff and see uh, if enough people want it. We'll start doing some base reviews, all right? It's been a while since we've done base reviews, but I know a lot of people used to like those. So... Um, that's pretty much the base, guys. We've got a couple of trap areas. You can see down here, a uh, little walkway right there, a little walkway right there. And then all of this uh, is walkways as well, getting in. So open areas that just mess with the giants or anything like that. So any if there's a giant out here, he's going to be having a heyday just running around all these 
open defenses. Uh, we've got the bombs up there. We've got our skeleton traps on the outside uh, so that it uh, pulls the troops out, uh, etc. And then we've got a couple of traps and bombs right there. But that's pretty much it for the base layout, guys. Again, uh, take a screenshot if you guys want to use it. I'm going to use this for a while, even once I get up into Town Hall 9, because i got to upgrade my other walls. Oh, we got a lot to upgrade. We're about to be doing a freaking road to max Town Hall 9, and it's going to take a year. <laughs> It'll take a while, um, but that's pretty much it for the base design. We do have a barge train up, so why don't we go ahead and attack, and we'll actually throw an attack in this video for you guys as well. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a good amount of loot. All right, see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, look at this loot. Now, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to get into the inside of the base, but I do have a heal spell and two rage spells. Um, there's not that much dark elixir, so I'm not really going to go for that. I'm going to attack from the top where the gold is so that hopefully I can get about 200,000 gold from up there. So... Uh, we'll go ahead and let's drop off our barbarians around the side and our archers. We're going to try and take out some of these side buildings so that our troops don't go around. We don't want them to go around the base right now. We want them to go uh, into this portion. So we're going to take out all those side... Oh, no, giant bomb. Please don't kill too many. Okay, good. So we're going to send them in. We're going to go and... Blah, blah, blah. We're going to go ahead and drop off our king. We'll drop off a rage spell. Crap, he's got clan castle troops. No! No, that couldn't have been any worse. We'll drop off a heal spell in there as well. Guys, what are y'all doing? Oh my gosh. Freaking ring around the rosy. Just get in there and take that gold. <laughs> what are they doing? Get in there and take the gold. King, what are you doing? Look, at what is going on? That was insane. But we already got 200,000 gold. Guys, that was, what the heck was that? <laughs> that was freaking ridiculous. They were just, they were running around the walls. Like, I've never seen troops run around the walls before that was freaking crazy we're gonna go ahead and use the king's ability oh gosh we're gonna use the king's ability we're gonna surrender right there um look at that <laughs> zero elixir but almost doing it almost 200,000 gold so i'm fine with that uh that was one of the weirdest attacks i've ever seen what the heck was going on all right <laughs> but that's gonna be it guys thank you so much for watching if you try out the base let me know down below in the comments and, uh, yeah, love you all very much. As always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on us. See you guys in the next video, all right? High five. Pow! Love you guys. Peace.